friends, it's Allison here from NicePeopleStamp.com. Welcome to the live unboxing of the September Paper Pumpkin. So this is a craft subscription from Stampin' Up. I'm so excited about this box. As you can see, it's kind of themed. You can see the skull and crossbones. It's Halloween. So I'm super pumped. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. So what you see in this box was the September Paper Pumpkin Kit, but if you sign up before October 11th, you can get next month's kit, or sorry, October 10th. So there is a link in the video description and you can sign up to receive this kit as well. So I'm super excited. I love Paper Pumpkin. It's such a great crafting subscription. And so if you live in Canada, you can subscribe with me. So yes, that means I get a very small portion of the cost of the kit. The cost is $30, it includes shipping, so it's a fabulous deal. And we are gonna open this up and see what's inside and what we can create. So let's get started. All right, so here is our October paper pumpkin. I have not opened this, it is still sealed. So this is the real deal. We are opening it live together. All right, so as I was saying, if you subscribe by October 10th, you can get next month's kit. So what's super cool is October and November, are going to coordinate. So this is a little bit of info on that. They are going to be holiday, winter sort of themed kits. So super, super, super excited about that one. Um, it's gonna be a Christmas coordinating special edition. So awesome. Make sure you subscribe again by the 10th of October and that means you'll get the October kit. If you subscribe after the 10th, so October 11th until November 10th, then you'll get the November kit. So yeah, sign up, you're gonna love it. So right when I open the box, we have our little gorgeous grape ink spot. We also have a stamp set. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Okay, we have some skeleton stamps, skull and crossbones. We have happy Halloween, eat if you dare, trick or treat, toxic treats, and Bone Appetite, so, so fun, loving that. And then let's open this up. And, oh, you guys, look at how cute. Okay, so that looks like it's our projects. These cute, they look like little, um, kind of like little milk cartons. I don't know, we'll have to see when we open it up. So when you subscribe for the first time, you receive a clear block. Okay, so I am gonna use the clear block that I got when I subscribed. So we are gonna have sort of like the full experience here. Let's open up our kit. Oh my gosh, there's tons of stuff in here. So remember this is $30 including shipping anywhere in Canada. So I'm thinking we got a pretty good deal here. So let's open this up. Okay, we have several of these black cute mini clothespins. Okay, adorable, so cute. Tons of those. We've got some black mini dimensionals. If you've never crafted before and you're like, what in the heck is a dimensional? I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this looks like it's our little boxes. Let's see how many we have. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 boxes. So we've got striped and polka dot, love, and they're shimmery, so they're foiled. Okay, so cute. I'm already totally on board with this kit. And then we have some foiled, uh, laser cut or die cut pieces. So I guess we're gonna probably put our sentiments on those. What else is in here? Okay, so this, oh, this looks like instructions, which I probably won't follow, but we'll see. We've got some more die cut pieces here and some more. Oh, I love the color scheme on those. I really only like purple at Halloween. So <laughs> this is, oh, look at these skeletons and the little hands. Okay, adorable. Some vellum. 
Oh my goodness, look at these. They're laser cut and they're like skull and crossbones spider webs. Oh my goodness, adorable. And some mini glue dots. So that is what we have to create our kit. Like I said, I have my block from my original kit here, as well as some adhesive. So I don't really know what I'm gonna need. So I brought out my tear and tape adhesive. I brought out some multi-purpose liquid glue. I also have some snail. And I do have my regular dimensionals, but I can see that they sent some mini black ones. So that might be enough. So let's jump in and start creating. So I have myself a latte here because we are gonna create tonight. I think we might create the whole kit. We'll see how it goes. I want to create this with you. So I am ready to just hang. And we're gonna do this every month with the Paper Pumpkin subscription. So if you're not subscribed with me yet, make sure you get subscribed because then we can create together every month. So it's gonna be the third Friday of the month at 8 p.m. Mountain. And uh, let's dive in. So here are our instructions. Should I maybe give it a once over? I don't know. Basically assemble the boxes, stamp the labels, adhere, 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 clip. You know what? I'm winging it. I might regret that. Maybe I'll keep the picture or maybe I should hide the picture just in case it doesn't turn out. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's do one and see how I fare. So here's our boxes. These are adorable. So you get 20 plus the stamp set. So remember our cute stamp set and the little ink spot for what are that, you know, $30, which I think is just, yeah, I think that's a great deal. It's a lot of times um, card kits, but this is a 3D kit. So I'm assuming that maybe the October or November will be cards. So we can get some Christmas cards, but we just never know. It's a surprise. I love subscriptions for that reason. It's just so fun to get something as a surprise. All right. Do you guys like subscriptions? Let me know in the comments. I get excited for subscriptions because it's always an adventure. Okay, cute box, totally easy to put together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, these are simple to put together. Oh, I should have put both handles in at once. Just as I'm like, oh, it's so simple. I went and messed it up. That's okay. That's why we're making one first to make sure that I'm, you know, I'm on track. Okay adorable, right? So you could definitely put like a couple lint chocolates in here for maybe your fancier friends. And then I think, you know, little, a tiny cupcake might fit in there, like a mini. Oh, that'd be so stinking cute. But yeah, you could fit a ton of different treats in here. So really, really great size. Okay. So we're looking at, or I'm looking at the instructions a little, not the instructions, the picture. So I have one of my die cut tags. Love it, it's just like ready to go. Let's grab one of our vellum circles. It looks like that kind of goes over there. Maybe it's centered, I think it's centered. But like centered low, but or no, sorry, centered horizontally, not vertically. Okay, and then we have, oh, we get to use one of these fun cobwebs a spider web okay seriously I'm in love already so okay we can open our ink pad so I like to just use my scissors and then you have this like it's the little lid stays on because it's already attached on the other side so I like to open it like that we are going to stamp toxic treats onto one of our little foiled sentiment bits here. What do you guys think would be great to put in this box? I would, yeah, I would love to hear your ideas because I think there are so many things that could go in here. So what are some of your favorite Halloween candies um, or chocolates that you give out to friends or maybe the kids in the neighborhood? I'd love to know because then I can figure out what to fill my little boxes with. 
Okay, so I've inked up my stamp that says toxic treats. I should probably, I like to stamp off first for the first stamp just to make sure that sometimes there's like stuff left over from the manufacturing process. So I just like to stamp it off. So stamped it off on the back of the instructions and let's ink it up. There we go. And we're gonna stamp down toxic treats. So cute. So we'll take that out. All right. So it looks like this kind of gets all layered like this. And then we have our little toxic treats. Okay. And then we're going to have ooh, our little clip with a skeleton hand. Okay. It's so cute. So the little clip is going to be, oh my, okay, seriously, adorable. It's going to be like a little hand. So cute and spooky. <laughs> okay, so now I have my mini glue dots and I am going to use them to put together my little treat tag here. So I'm just going to put one on the back of the vellum near the bottom. So if you've ever worked with vellum before, then you know that the adhesive shows through. So I'm going to put it where I can cover up with my toxic treats, okay? And then I have my, oh my gosh, so cute little skeleton cobweb. And I'm just going to put one of the glue dots. You know what? No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue. You could totally use the glue dots that come with the kit, but I, I'm telling you, I need to get my nails done. They're too long and they're a bit hard for me right now. So I'm just using a couple little dabs of my multi-purpose liquid glue. We're putting that down. Um, so cute. And then that's what our cute little dimensionals are for. So they sent us little mini black dimensionals. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, we have tons. I was going to say, can I use two on each one? I definitely can. So we're putting that on the back of our little toxic treats. Sentiment. Okay. We'll stick that down. Okay, you guys. How cute. And then we have our little hand that we want to stick to our clip. So I think I'm supposed to use these glue dots again. Again, I didn't really read the directions, which, you know, to each their own, right? Okay, these nails. Gotta get my nails did. Okay, so let's put that on our cute clip. There we go. Okay, so cute. And then this is getting clipped on. Oh my goodness, how adorable. So that is our first little box here. That is with, we're doing the September Paper Pumpkin Kit. So this is, you know, if you're just joining in, it's this crafting subscription. And you can sign up for your subscription through me using the link in the video description. So if you're watching on YouTube, it is in the video description below. If you're watching live on Facebook, just tap the video and the description will pop up. So super duper cute, but we have another one. Let's leave that in because like how cute. So let's do the stripey one now. I feel like... These little boxes are just so stinking cute. So we'll fold on the score lines. There we go. We've got some little pieces we need to pop out. There we go. All right. I absolutely love Halloween. So I was actually born on Halloween. So yes, I'm a Halloween baby. So yes, I love Halloween. So 
it's kind of like as a kid, my birthday parties were so amazing. Everyone in the neighborhood came over. I mean, it was the 80s, so like we just lit off fireworks in our backyard. It was so, so fun. And everyone in the neighborhood came over. It was such a good time. And I miss those days because now all my friends have kids and we don't have kids. So yeah, I feel like they're all out with their kids, trick-or-treating, and yeah, I'm not. So <laughs> it's not nearly as fun to have a Halloween birthday as an adult it, as it is as a child. Okay, so now we've got our little skull and crossbones, and that's going to get stamped on our tag. So we've got our gorgeous grape. We're going to stamp. We're just going to make like a little background, it looks like. I don't really think we have to do the whole thing because it's kind of getting covered with our cute little skeleton. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Three little ones. And then we need our sentiment. So for this one, we're using Boon Appetit. Okay, so we'll get that on our block. And then ink that up. Oh, I need my little, my little sentiment thing. There we go. And stamp that down. Okay. Adorable. I probably got a little bit much ink on there, but we're fine. Okay. So here is our vellum again. So it's kind of getting composed in the same way. We're doing vellum and then we're doing one of the little standing skeletons. He looks like he's waving. I love him. Okay, so we're doing the same sort of treatment and then putting Bon Appetit, okay? So pretty easy. Let's use, I've kind of abandoned those glue dots, haven't I? Let's use my mini glue dots that are on the roll. But just know that with this kit, you totally get mini glue dots. Um, at least this month we did. I'm just having trouble because my nails need them done. My nail lady's away. How dare she, right? I always joke with her. How dare she go away and mess up my schedule? She just laughs at me. <laughs> she just laughs and laughs. Okay, so we've got our little black dimensionals. We're going to put that down. Let's move it over just a smidge. Okay, so now again, we're gonna put one of those cute little hands onto the little clothespin. So I'll just go on like that. And it's like this skeleton hand is holding the tag onto the box. So there is our second one. So those are our two versions we can make and we have enough supplies for 10 of each. So super duper cute. I love it. I don't think I'm going to make all of them because I think this would be so great to make with kids. And I have my nephew coming over next week. So, or sorry, not next week, next month. So we can make these together. I think he'll love them and we can fill them with fun treats for school. So it's going to be really fun. So I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of the paper pumpkin kit from Stampin' Up. Remember this is a craft subscription program. So you can get crafty along with me because I will be posting a video monthly of the kit. We'll unbox it and create at least one of the projects together. So make sure you subscribe. You can subscribe with me anywhere in Canada. Click the link in the video description to get yourself signed up and I will craft with you again next month with paper pumpkin.